What's up you guys, Sacha Boss here, and today I'm doing a very, very special review for you guys. This is the Lego Star Wars uh, set number uh, 34, uh, sorry, 321, uh, 3,102, sorry guys. The rules of the number is 31200, and this is the Lego Star Wars, the Sith art set. So guys, um, if you don't know what the art set is, it's pretty much about it's pretty much a mosaic we're about to see. But this mosaic, you can choose three different options from Darth Vader, Darth Maul, or Kylo Ren. I went with Darth Maul because I'm in the mood for the prequels. Yes, I'm in a sucker mood for the prequels because the Five Force Battle Pack came out and the um, Clone Wars season seven, which made me even more hype for Darth Maul. Um, the finale season of that, and he's also in Solo, and Darth Maul is a, a kind of character, one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time. Also, I got me at Ray Park at Comic-Con, um, which he got a, I got him to sign um, my Phantom Menace uh, Blu-ray uh, uh, Star Wars set. So it's really cool I got him to sign that. So it's something in my heart, because I love Ray Park. And I also don't have any prequel items in my room. All my stuff is original trilogy. I don't have any uh, prequel. You can yeah. see here, this is what the box looks like for the set. Um, the box is a almost like, almost the size of a pizza. Almost the size of a pizza box. Like, you know what pizza boxes are about like this big and like this flat, um, this flat, you yeah, guys, it's almost like a pizza box. And um, it's just a very um, intricate thing right here, the big pizza, bo pizza box. It's kind of awkward to carry it around, a little heavy. But when you open it up, there's different little sections in here. Um, which is really cool. Something really in here. It's gonna go it's just recycling, obviously. But, um, it's obviously, this is my first 18 plus set. Uh, like you, like you can see right here, 18 plus. Well, if you're an adult, you can build this, or if a teenager, you can build this as well. I'm 17. This is what I'm um, right here we got the Sith and the side art. Um, the box like this. You can have the box like that if you want. And then the back of the box. The guys in the bowl. The back of the box is really pretty as well, all the photography on the back. It's a very hefty sized box. It's like carrying around a big pizza box. You know, it's kind of awkward to carry. It's very, very awkward uh, to carry this set. And I, it is a really enjoyable build. I felt, I felt like it was really relaxing too, um, this build right uh, here. Out of the way, let's take a look at the actual Sith art instructions. The new uh, piece... Um, the new piece and um, the extra pieces and all sorts of things. So this set right here is the Darth Maul Sith art. It is incredible. I'm gonna go by distance because um, it's way really easier for you guys to see this thing in full detail. Um, this thing is incredible for what this set is. Um, honestly, this is one of the coolest Lego sets I ever built. It's one of the most relaxing uh, Lego sets I ever built. It's also uh, an iconic character too, like I said. This is a very, very bad butt build. It's perfect for adults and anybody who loves Lego Star Wars as much as I do. Um, this is something I've been wanting, and I finally got it for Dolly. This thing is sweet. Um, it's a little bit challenging at times. I thought this build would take me a very, very long time because there's so many different plates in here um, with this build. Um, so many different like plates and um, studs all over the place. Uh, you can see the studs, how this thing is built it's like by nine different platforms, um, which is really, really cool. Got all this detail, all the bright oranges, all the bright colors. This thing is beautiful in contrast. Like, Lego did a very, very good job of uh, housing the uh, Sith art. Um, this set is a massive uh, model, like I said. Um, I thought this build would be really tedious at first, because, like, the first, like, time I built, like, the first play, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting kind of a boring sum, but it gets better and better as you build. It's really relaxing. Like, it took me, like, two days to build the set. Like, two days. Um, I just thought this Darth Maul set is what, like, it's all about. Especially the set. It's great for kids like me who's on the spectrum of autism, because, like, I think autism wants to say on this whole subject right here as well, but... This set is perfect for everybody. Like, um, if it's background or just want to relax and chill and build some art, this is what you get. And Lego killed this thing as well. Um, this was one of the best 2020 sets by far. Uh, just because, like, the, uh, by the nostalgic, nostalgicness behind uh, Darth Maul and uh, just everything about the character is phenomenal uh, with the set. And Lego did everything with details and stud work. It, it is incredible. And the only downside about this set, in my opinion, 
Or so, is that? All these extra studs. See all these studs? This is what Lego gave you for extra pieces. All the extra studs from your build are included in the Ziploc bag. I put them down because I finished the stat and the these studs, so I put them all in the Ziploc baggie. And this is what you ended up with. All these studs um, right here, um, which is kind of crazy of how much extra pieces you get for this art set. I guess if you lose some pieces, you have some studs uh, for to replace those pieces, obviously. I ran out of orange pieces um, throughout the build, so I um, obviously used some other pieces, alternative pieces as well for the build, which is a very, very uh, incredible model, like I said, but the whole side art right here is really, really cool. Um, I really like the border of the set. And then right here, um, you have the Star Wars logo, which you can take out, put on, take off, I'm not keeping it B, but it's printed. No stickers involved, the printed Star Wars logo, which is really cool. Um, right there. I really want to get another one where I have Ray Park sign right here, or get another border piece like this and have Ray Park sign it like on the bottom or something like that. I think it'd be cool. Have Ray Park's autograph. The guy who did Darth Maul, obviously. Or the voice of Darth Maul as well. It'd be cool to have him autograph this. I think it'd be cool. Picking up the set, it's very, very heavy, but this is what it looks like on the underneath of the set. I got the two technic technic pieces. Which are um, going to be on um, the new Batwing set, obviously. Um, all these pieces right here, which is cool. And then um, it's a very, very sturdy build. I have to pick it up with one hand, it won't break. So I'm thankful for that. But I'll be careful of the set, obviously. It's going to go in my room. Um, this set as a whole is incredible. Also, you want to see my head compared to it? Um, I'll put a picture of it because I'm not going to do it on camera, obviously, because it's a little heavy. Of the carry is my phone. I don't drop my phone or the set, so yeah, so I'm not doing that. Um, also, you'll receive from the set are this new stud, new stud remover. Uh, this thing is really easy to use. I really like it. Oh man, it got a black stud on it, but the studs pretty much like use this on the side of it. Also, this is really good for removing tiles and stuff. So I'll be like saving this for like a future big set or um, studs I need to remove like studs or other pieces. This is where we get the process done a little bit smoother and quicker because, like, you scrape the pieces off and the pieces obviously come off. So, Lego did a good job inventing this new black Lego remover compared to the normal orange one, which I have in the room, which I'm not going to get out right now. So, there's that, which is a very, very cool. Here's some more extra pieces you will receive in the set um, for this thing. There's no number of bags. I'll show you how to build the set. There's some more information on sets. It's like all about Darth Maul, what sets he came in. Um, right there, 1999, uh, in Spanish. I'm saying the instructions because I love learning about the characters. Um, right here is the Darth Maul section, which is cool. All the sets, many figures, beautiful, noble figure. Uh, Vader bust, Vader. Um, then we got Vader, a little read-up of Vader. Um, right there, a picture of Vader. And then we have Kylo Ren, which is probably by far one of the coolest to get him. Right there, I love Kylo Ren. Such a cool one. I think the best looking ones out of them are Kylo and uh, uh, Darth Maul, which is cool. Here's guy. Like I said, this is also it has a soundtrack to it where you can sit back, listen to the soundtrack, or it's really a podcast with different like guys talking about Star Wars and the history behind the character and like how they create the character. That's pretty much the whole gist of the plot of this podcast I was listening to. It was a very, very enjoyable podcast because uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, put smiles on my face. It's really cool. And you have options about this, is how, how it works. Um, just showing you how this stuff works for Darth Maul, obviously. Um, you can just put them all three like that. Uh, pull the studs, isn't it? It's almost like a really difficult process to build this if you uh, build, building a set because you have to follow along by row by row. Or you can go by column by column like I did, or freehand it a little bit uh, for some parts of the build. Um, there's his forehead right here. I keep on building, building. And then when eventually you have these, you put like technique pins in it. And the technique pins connect to that, connect to that, connect to that. And then you have a row uh, for Darth Maul. And then you like you keep on connecting it. It's just a bunch of studs. It's one of the most complex uh, Lego instructions I ever seen in a Lego set. Looking at all these colors and the studs, it, it almost overwhelms you at first when you're not used to it. But then once you get used to the set, you're very, very um, used to the building process and how these art sets work when you're finished building the set. Like I did. Um, at first it overwhelmed me, but I went through that because like, 
be really calm and relaxed with your music and having a lot of fun just relaxing building legos like it's a lot of fun honestly there's another option for that too so other than that this set is really cool and also the instructions is very thick and heavy it's a very very heavy uh instruction booklet like like here like a star wars qr code and on the back it's the lego star wars sith logo right there which is phenomenal looking um this is this is a very very unique instruction booklet nothing from lego has ever done before it's very adult-ish i really want them to do sets like this again but like have the actual like art word on there too like star wars art underneath that'd be cool too or hyperspace if they did another one they had the hyperspace instead of the stars it's just really cool as well but Point out there. Thing. Fun fact, the play piece in this is going to be used as base plates for the new Colosseum. So my fingers are crossed for the gunship, the UCS gunship, rumored to have those base plates instead of some clear tiles to put over it for the set. And the building around that area will be an excellent inclusion to that. So, like I said, this set was very, very calming and I really enjoyed the building process of building the Sith art. I highly recommend you guys try to pick this up. I know it retails for $130. It's a little pricey, but it's worth the price, worth the fun. Uh, it was a good weekend project. I, like I said, it took me two days to build this. And I give this set 10 out of 10, a really, really enjoyable set. 18 old, it's an 18 plus set. I think a lot of adults will love this because some iconic characters are included in this set. And anyone has something to put on your wall or your man cave or your nerd bar, you can have put this on, like, on your nerd bar, man cave, whatever you want to call it. Um, to put your steel for your uh, your favorite fan bases on it, um, Lego art. Rumor has it Harry Potter's coming up next, so I can't wait to see that in 2021. So guys, like I said, I'm gonna give this set 10 out of 10 for everything about it. Um, I really enjoyed this for everything um, in the set. Um, this set I'm gonna give a uh, 10 out of 10. This is a lovely set. Love everything about Lego. Lego absolutely knocked this one out of the park. And thank you guys for watching. And bye.